I stand here before you today in front of the birthplace of Kool-Aid. of the Rocky Mountain area. So, uh, last night we didn't take the camera to downtown Denver. One, because they wouldn't let it in the stadium, obviously, for the Rockies game we saw. And two, because we didn't quite trust the atmosphere as well as we thought we would. But we got to see a Rockies game. Went down and sat pretty much right down in center field to see some of our pictures. We got to see the Rockies versus the Pirates. Rockies won 8 nothing. We also went and saw downtown Denver. Uh, it's called the 16th Street Mall, and it's basically like the Commons in Ithaca where the section of the road is cut out and it's just outlets and walkways. And we ran to our good friend Marcus Walter from Newswatch 16 Weather. We got to hang out with him for a little bit and just kind of walk around the site and see it. And that's our last city stop for about 10 hours. We have a few destinations along the way, but today we're going from Denver, Colorado to Las Vegas, Nevada. about this stop. We've seen our share of restaurants and you know some funny tour stops but sometimes you just gotta get away from the uh, good the to, commercial aspect of American life. It's good to say that you know even though we had McDonald's for lunch and take some man-made highways everywhere we go that well Burger King for lunch. Her, so, you know it's a good stop to check it out and, because nothing says that I love the Rocky Mountains like a nice tender crisp chicken sandwich at BK. Well, we are back on flat land, pretty much out of the Rocky Mountain region. But this is different than Nebraska flat land, let me just point out. This is like hardcore desert flat land. Um, yeah, this, this stretches get... out. You can still see the Rockies because there's nothing else in the way. True. Oh, well, we're only... Uh this spot we don't want to break down. We're only 11 miles from Utah. Uh, and as we are you, as you may 500 have, uh, miles from Vegas. As you may have ascertained, Eric is now driving. I am we driving. Stop for gas for a little while and uh, we are on a 75 mile an hour speed limit road having some fun. Yeah, this is like we're getting our kicks on Route 70. So. It's almost it's almost too, too uh, hot to have a farm now. Most of this area is just like dried up like swales from when it snows. There's nothing out here. Yeah, like a lot of dried up whales from when it's. I said swales. I said swales. Swales are like birds. Yeah, swales are like pits. If there were quails out here, they they'd would be dried up. Yeah. They'd be dried up. We just got world. into just got into Utah. <sighs> I, we just had to climb up a big thing to get up here, but wow! Now we are in Utah right now, but we can still see Colorado because we're so high up. We can pretty much see for 
miles. Like here's the here's the road we came in on. Yeah, we're just looking for speed traps. It's the view in Oregon Trail when you get ready to hunt. Yeah. And buffalo should just be walking like horizontally across the screen. Or we're like the eagles out. or the hawks. There's not even trees further than like a mile out of this ravine. Just make sure that down there doesn't steal our car. Oh yeah, that's cute. Trucking with your wife. I want a wife. I used to get choked up and emotional when I, I pulled up to a Burger King or a McDonald's, but I'm quite honestly from now on, I mean, this is it. This is one of the beautiful, one of the most beautiful things. I mean, and the, and, and the simple beauty about it is that you're looking at grass, dirt, rock, and... But it's just, and, I don't know. You know, that's about it. And it's just the formations of hills, mountains, mesas, fields, canyons. The combinations just don't exist on the East Coast. You have to think, what are the odds? You know, it was fairly cloudy today. I was kind of... I'm concerned that it was a little bit cloudy. The mountains were still nice and stuff. I'm serious when I say it's probably the most beautiful thing I've seen. Just this whole, and I'm, I'm privileged to be driving right now. You know, it's something you can never get it's from. It's a mesa A mesa you, It's something you can never get from experiencing an afternoon in Massachusetts or Cape Cod. And while I do love home, this is like, you know, this is just an experience for anyone Anyone who lives here, anyone who wants to see the sights of America. Hello and welcome to Salina, Utah. I don't know if you saw the sign on our way in, but we are at a truck stoppy little community that has a few little restaurants, a few gas stations, a few hotels, but also a few interesting stops along our crazy route of road trip fun. So here's our first one. It is a giant Indian statue. Now originally, uh, I read a little bit about this online. Uh, it was a different uh, colored statue holding a milkshake. I think it was supposed to be an ad or just like it looked like a milkshake someone was holding it, but the town decided to redo it and make it into a Native American statue just as a tribute, as a little less offensive I guess. And really, it just serves its purpose as a nice little stop, a nice little tribute, and uh, a nice thing to take your picture next to. But here we have something even, I think, even more impressive. Giant soda cane. Now, I'm not really sure why they're here or what purpose they serve. They look to be some sort of water or oil, um, you know, tanks of some kind. But we were the first rest stop in 100 miles in Utah and uh, two cool things in one, pretty much. So, now, now and we ate at Denny's. So, true. So tell, really, tell our viewers how far, how much more we have to travel tonight. We left uh, Denver. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. I have to cut this off because the battery is running out. Well, can you get the mileage real quick? Yeah, I should have like a 55 zone. Yeah. According to Alfred. Nine, there it is, hey -o. Hey! Good job, 3,000. We'll see you on the flip side. Uh, this morning, I guess you could say, at around what? 
too? Um, local time? We were we were here and we were we got here probably around 1.30 local time and we were up until maybe like 2.30 local time, so which is the equivalent to 5.30 five. Eastern time. So these are the uh, apartment rooms we're staying in. We stayed tonight. Uh, last night we slept over. And then we uh, are staying again tonight because today is our first non-travel day and only non -travel. Seven of our trip. The last day. If you, if you count meeting in Ithaca uh, as the finale. day one, the we finale. are a week in. And let's just talk about Ve uh, Vegas for now. I mean, some of the stuff I'm sure will stay in Vegas, but uh, <laughs> actually, it was a very, it was a rather tame trip, and I was very, I was very happy with the way it came out. A um, couple highlights: we explored the M&M factory or whatever that was in uh, 3D. M&M &M World. M&M World. Which I is. just, I love the freedom of walking through a shopping mall with a gigantic, like long neck. Leg sized. Pina colada. I don't know, I just, that says Vegas for me right there. Um, I lost 40 bucks at the first casino we played at. So I was determined to get it back. That was at the Luxor. Mm -hmm. And we were in the mall and there was this, there was this area where it actually rains inside the mall because it looks like this kind of like Aladdin Middle East place. And we were in there and we're like, okay, we'll wait for the rainstorm. It rains, it thunders, it lightnings inside a mall. And we're like, awesome. Well, now we begin our home stretch. We are about four hours away from Los Angeles. No more hotel stops, maybe a few more rest stops here and there. And then we will join our classmates at ICLA. Well, as I said, we are on the home stretch to LA, but it does not mean we are done having fun. We're still about three hours out of the big city, but we have another big thing here to show you. If you want to come under this tree, we will be looking at the world's largest thermometer, or some call it thermometer. On the East Coast, they call it a thermometer. Um, Over here, yeah, apparently, right they here. call it a thermometer. Here we go. This is the Baker, California, Gateway to Death Valley, world's largest thermometer. Now, as you can see, there's little, like, all those signs there. Each one's a different like temperature from 70 up to I think 140 is the top one. So uh, depending on what it is, different ones will light up to show you uh, how hot it is. And I, it's pretty hot today, I would say. I Maybe think it must be all the way up to the top, I would say, <laughs> as far as that goes. Because it is a hot day. I am melting out here. So we're going to take a few pictures, chill out for a little bit, see how hot it is, and get on our way. But small little town of Baker, California, entrance to California, and Death Valley. Pretty cool. There Pretty it is. Cool. Okay, we are officially in Eric's last 50 miles of driving. It's been fun. It's been We've had our good times, we've had a bad time. Well, we have a little bit of time to talk before you are back in the passenger seat and we go into LA. So, this is as good as time of any to really just wrap things up for you. You know, you've sat in the two front seats the whole ride up. We've seen everything. Let's just go, you know, I don't know if you want to go state by state or just 
experience by experience, but you know, I think the I tape, I think the tape will speak for itself for the most part. But I will say that it's it's interesting and it's amazing to have traveled from one end from the Atlantic, 40 or so minutes from the Atlantic, but um, to the Pacific. So highlights. Yeah, let's talk. Uh, definitely the Rocky Mountains were amazing, and I don't know what you called up the part of the Rocky Mountains in Utah, the Ma Mesa land. Yeah, the Mesas. Mesa. Mesitos. Uh, that was a highlight of the trip for me. That was one of the biggest. Vegas was another crazy one. Um, eating deep dish pizza in Chicago was another major highlight for me. Um, just because, you know, I've done it before, but, you know, it's always, it's always good. Uh, the planes. Planes were awesome. You know, we got to see the rain in New York State. We got to see Lake Erie, and Lake Michigan. We got to see the fields of Nebraska. We got to see the Rockies win in one of the most important games of all time. Yes. A big ass rocking chair, a big ass stamp, and a big ass thermometer. You know, we got lost a few times. We got found a few times. Okay, We sure. never got saved, but we, didn't need it. we pretty much sped through Nebraska pretty quickly. Um, you know, we tried to find the Trucker's Chapel and we got stuck in some really weird little town. You know, I backtracked nine miles. Stuff like that. We could have been in, in Los Angeles already if it wasn't for my stupid little backtracking nine miles. But hey, you know, this is America, and as they say, from sea to shining sea, it's all right with me. They don't say that. Some people have said okay. that. Um, it's all right with me. Um, help me get to the oh Los Angeles, oh Los Angeles, how I found thee in thine home. are currently at Peggy Sue's 50 style diner but in the backyard of the diner here is a is a very ancient uh, dinosaur park so we're gonna go around take some pictures look around and see what kind of dinosaur -y things could possibly be in the middle of the desert of California dinosaur I've ever seen. Well, that's the last stop of our road trip here. We have about two hours to go, so let's go to Los Angeles. across the country, I mean, you got Cleveland, the uh, home of rock, Chicago, the home of deep dish, Vegas, you know, the home of casinos, Denver, the home of the Rockies, and Iowa, the home of crappy casinos. You sit at a, a news desk, you cover the news in the country, but you never really know what you're talking about until you go through it. 
before this trip, I'd never gone east of the Great Lakes in, in America. And now I am gone to the Pacific. So, LA is in about an hour and a half. We're gonna be there for about three months. But I will remember the trip to there probably as much as the time we spent there. That's our place right there. Um, not anything the entire you want to say? Thing. Not the entire thing. We get a little portion of that, like a fraction of that. Well, uh, I think the official uh, amount was 3,425 miles. Let's go in and just take a look at the apt. Here is our room. This is our humble abode. Oh, here's our kitchen. Our kitchenette, I guess you could call it. Nice little table area here. Couches, TV. Oh, looks like someone's moved in already. Hello. Foster, where are you at? Don't, hey, you know. Not here yet. As soon as he leaves. Maybe at the pool or something, who knows. So this is our home, home. for Isn't more than weird? for more than two days in a row we're going to be sleeping here. Uh, home, you know. That's just one of those words, man. It's like vacation, trip, but home. Something I haven't heard in the, in the text. <laughs> You get really deep. Who texts just cool and then... Home. It's one of those words anyway, that... Hold on, I gotta text. Home is one of those things, you know, you think family, you think friends, you think just living area. I know what home is. I know the definition of home. It's here. It's now. But it's not only here and now. It's not here. It's not Northboro, <laughs> Massachusetts. It's not Atlantic City, New Jersey. It is Omaha. It is Denver. Home is Chicago. Home is Cleveland. Home is even Cedar City, but we don't go to it. Home is Vegas. Home is America. And that's what I've learned. That it doesn't matter where you're from or what you do or who you are, but home will follow you in the car, in your bags, in your rooms, in your hotels, your holiday inns in your restaurants, your giant rocking chairs, in your stamps, your giant stamps, and your Cleveland rocks. Home is there. Home is a place. Home is an idea, not a place. <laughs> home is like, home is just you. And damn it, I'm always home. 
In other words, <laughs> welcome to LA, and we'll see you when we go home, which is not here. It's back. It's back in Massachusetts. No, forget what I just said. That was just a brain fart. Let's go move some more bags. <laughs> He's about to try it. He's about to try it. He's about to try it. To try May it. our children forgive us. Oh! They did it. They did it. No they way. Did. Really? So. Damn the West Coast. So that's good. <laughs>